I came here tonight because this body of work that I've done on Netflix, I'm going to complete. All the questions you might have had about all these jokes I've said in the last few years, I hope to answer tonight. But I'd like to start by addressing the LBGTQ community directly. And I want every member of that community to know that I come here tonight in peace. <laughs> and I hope to negotiate the release of the baby. <laughs> sad, sad, sad story. The baby was the number one streaming artist until about a couple weeks ago. He took a nasty spill on stage and said some, uh, said some wild stuff about the LBGTQ community uh, during a concert in Florida. Uh, now, you know I go hard in the paint, but even I saw that shit and was like, God damn the baby. Ooh, he pushed the button, didn't he? He pushed the button, punched the LBGTQ community right in the AIDS. Can't do that. Can't do that. But I do believe, and I'll, and I'll make this point later, that, that the kid made a, a very egregious mistake. I will acknowledge that. But, you know, a lot of the LBGTQ community doesn't know the baby's history. He's a wild guy. He once shot a nigga and killed him in Walmart. Oh, this is true. Google it. The baby shot and killed a nigga in Walmart in North Carolina. Nothing bad happened to his career. <laughs> Do you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> in our country, you can shoot and kill a nigga, but you better not hurt a gay person's feelings. And this is precisely the disparity that I wish to discuss. I have a question for the audience. And this is a real question. I'm not joking around. Is it possible that a gay person can be racist? Do you really think so? Of course it's possible. Look at Mike Pence. <laughs> Ooh, I'm guessing, but I bet you he's gay. And he's not Pride Parade gay either. He's, he's sad gay. <laughs> Feel bad for him. He looks like one of them gays that prays about it. Jesus, please take these dirty feelings out of my heart. <laughs> please, Jesus, make these buttholes ugly to me. I don't want to keep on tasting these dicks. <laughs> you guys are confusing the emotions. You think I hate gay people, and what you're really seeing is that I am jealous of gay people. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm not the only black person that feels this way. We blacks, we look at the gay community and we go, God damn it, look how well that movement is going. <laughs> look how well you are doing. And we've been trapped in this predicament for hundreds of years. How the fuck are you making that kind of progress? I can't help but feel like if slaves had baby oil and booty shorts, <laughs> we might have been free a hundred years sooner, you know what I mean? <laughs> if Martin Luther King was like, I want everybody to get up on them bloats, and get your bodies good and shiny.
I don't hate gay people at all. I respect the shit out of you. Well, not all of you. <laughs> I'm not that fond of these newer gays. Too sensitive. Too brittle. Those aren't the gays I grew up with. I miss them old school gays, nigga. Them Stonewall niggas, them the ones that I respect. They didn't take shit from anybody. They fought for their freedom. I respect that shit. I'm not even gay. And I want to be like a Stonewall nigga. Them old school gangster gays, them gory hole niggas, them the ones I like. These new gays don't even know what the glory hole is. It's a hole in the wall the gay contractors built. You want to know why they put that hole in the wall? I'll tell you, there's no nice way to say it. Because when they want to have some fun, they will put their penises in that hole and hope for the best. I respect that shit. It's a lot of courage on both sides of that hole, nigga. I'm not even gay. And I want to try that glory hole out. <laughs> what if Martin Luther King had to integrate the glory hole? <laughs> I don't care if it's black lips back there, white lips back there. A mouth is a mouth. A warm, wet mouth. I'm going all the way. I got in a fight. I almost got in a fight. It's complicated. I was in a bar in Austin with my wife, and, and, and uh, it was during COVID, and, we, and, and uh, a woman came to our table, and she was maskless. And this bitch came over, no mask, all H words. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Droplets was coming out of this bitch's face. We all covered our drinks. Oh, bitch, what are you doing? <laughs> now, I look over at the table that she came from, and I peeped game. The men at the table were filming me. This happens when you're famous. People will come over and try to rattle your cage and get you to say something stupid or dumb so that their buddies can film it and they get a video of you embarrassing yourself. And clearly, I said, this is what's happening. And these dumb motherfuckers thought that it was my first rodeo. <laughs> Sadly, it worked. I ran right over there. I, said, I pointed right in the camera. I said, you's a bitch-ass nigga for doing this to me. <laughs> and the dude was shocked that I said it. He said, oh. And when he did like this, I seen all his fingernails was painted. And I realized, like, uh-oh. <laughs> this fella's gay. Now, you know how I talk. I call everybody a bitch-ass nigga, you know what I mean? But that's not a right thing to do if they're gay, you know what I mean? And, and, and now I was in trouble. And not only that, the motherfucker was huge. He stood up, he was towering over me. He must have been 6'5", a big, white, corn-fed, Texas homosexual. This nigga was ready to fight. And he started barking on me, but I stood my ground. I wasn't scared. How could I be scared? This motherfucker's shirt was tied up in a knot like this. I'm like, oh, fuck this guy. Let's go, nigga, let's go. I thought we were gonna come to blows. I, I was ready, I was ready. And, and, and then, and then, right when you think we would fight, guess what he did? He picked up his phone and he called the police. And this, this thing I'm describing is a major issue that I have with that community. Gay people are minorities until they need to be white again. <laughs> I'm being very brutally honest so we can solve this problem. I'm telling you right now, a black gay person would have never done that to me. Because a black gay person knows when the police shows up, they're not gonna care who called them. They don't show up like, which one of you niggers is Clifford? 
We're all Clifford. <laughs>